Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in size 4 medium and a crochet hook in size 5.5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I will chain 11. Now for row 1, on the second chain from the hook, I will make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I will make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I will make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I will make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. So I continue making one half double crochet through each chain throughout row 1. So this completes row 1. Now for row 2 I'll turn my work around then I'll chain 1. Now on the second chain from the hook working right there through the back loop only I'll make one half double crochet through the next chain working only through this back loop I'll make one half double crochet through the next chain working only through this back loop I'll make one half double crochet through the next chain working only through the back loop one half double crochet so I'll continue making one back loop half double crochet through each chain throughout row 2 So this completes row 2. Now for the pattern we repeat row 2. So for row 3 we turn our work around, we will chain 1, then through the second chain from the hook working only through the back loop I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make one back loop half double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make one back loop half double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make one back loop half double crochet. So I'll continue making one back loop half double crochet through each chain throughout row 3. So yeah, for the pattern we repeat row 2. So we repeat row 2 until our work measures 10 inches. And now I'll chain 4, then right here through the next chain. See the one from the row that we made in the beginning? Right through that first chain I'll make one half double crochet. Through this next chain I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain one half double crochet. Through this next chain one half double crochet. So we repeat this for each chain. So let's complete this row. Now I'll turn my work around. I will chain one. Now through the second chain from the hook, I'll make one half double crochet. Through his next chain, one half double crochet. Through his next chain, one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain until we reach this uh, four chain loop that you have in the center as we have added in the previous row. So now that we have reached this 4 chain loop, I will make one half double crochet through each chain. So one, two, 
two, three, and four. Now again, through his next 11 chains, I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. Now again, I'll turn my work around, I'll chain one, then through a second chain from the hook, I'll make one half double crochet, through the next chain, one half double crochet, through the next chain, one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain throughout this row. So this completes the second row. Well, technically the third one if we're going to count the chain two. So yes, this completes the, thir the third row since we start to join our work. I'll turn my work around again. I'll repeat the same thing until we have uh, five rows in total. We have five rows right here. Now that you made five extra rows of half double crochets or such a decrease so I'll turn my work around I will chain one then through his next chain I'll make one half double crochet through the next two chains I'll decrease 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 so I'll continue decreasing until I reach the end of this row. So now that I'm at the end of this row I have two more chains so I cannot decrease in the last chain because uh, I want it to be even from both sides so when I sew these two sides together it will look it, it will look neat. So through the next two chains I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. So this completes this sixth row. Now I'll turn my work around. I'll chain one then through the second chain from the hook I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make one half double crochet through the next chain one half double crochet through the next chain one half double crochet through the next chain one half double crochet so I'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain throughout this row and this is row 7 
Now for row 8, I'll turn my work around. I will chain 1, then through a second chain from the hook, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease. 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 Then through his last chain, I'll make one half double crochet. So this completes row eight. Now for row nine, I'll turn my work around. I will chain one, then through a second chain from the hook, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, 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 one half double crochet. And through his last chain, one half double crochet. And now I will chain one and leave a long tail. Now I will use yarn needle. go through these chains we have at the top that we just finished just like that 